Welcome to Jan Bakasaga React. Today we're gonna watch Jujutsu Kaisen episode 5. Last episode was real like a cliffhanger because it all it ended up with Sukuna having Yuji's body and he cannot take control again and he was going to do something to Megumi. That's how it ended. So well now we think we know who's gonna because Megumi certainly isn't as tough to beat Sukuna. But maybe the teacher appears to help him out and they can control Yuji and the one that ends up passing away it's gonna be the the girl's student, okay? That's what I think. Remember guys, if you wanna see these reactions, complete reaction with no cuttings, no additions, you can go to our Patreon and also if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel, give some likes and say something in the comments and let's start with the episode. Yeah, this is why I was telling you that, that he he thinks that he can switch back, but now he's gonna realize that, that this guy cannot switch back to his, his body like that. Megumi is in problems. He's outside waiting for for Itadori to come out, and he's not gonna go there because Sukuna is in his place now. I thought that he felt Sukuna's power going for him. Now he sends that. Oh my god, he's right out on at his back. Imagine if he cannot move with the other cars now in front of that guy. Oh my god. What? Okay, so if he switched back, then he's gonna die. Yeah, of course. Okay, so... No, he isn't gonna... Oh my god. So can he be even stronger? That thing is gonna make it harder for Yuji to go back. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's stop this because you know I don't want any spoilers. First, I want to thank you all because we already reached 200 subscribers. I think it was last episode or last video when I was thanking you for the 100 but now I'm really excited to do these videos more because I'm gonna keep doing it better and trying more so I'm really glad thank you all for the 200 subscribers and remember guys if you like this kind of content subscribe to the channel give some likes say something in the comments now for certainty we know who's the one that's gonna pass because Itadori is gonna make all that he can to to take control again no matter if his life is uh, on the board because he's gonna try to save him and that's the way he is so that's gonna happen if he can't do it on time because if he doesn't Sukuna is gonna probably well Sukuna is gonna do damage to Megumi irreversible damage oh my god I'm really nervous about that why they put these little clock things okay she has Sukuna's thing in his forehead? Her forehead? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. He is gonna be the one that goes back. Yeah, he is. Okay, yeah, he, he knows all that things that happen, but, but at the end he ends up fighting against it and, and had the gods to, to do it, so... So he will be the same here. And he's kind also, but you don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's weaker. That's what I'm telling him, like, he can be able to move? Yeah, bear thing, bear shadow, whatever. Oh my god, he's only like dancing with a creepy smile, like he, he has no scare at all. I really wanna know how did he do the frog shadow. <laughs> oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> I don't think that thing has the power. Oh wow, that's like a a thunderbird. Oh my god, this turned too fast to a Dragon Ball fight. Again. They have Jujutsu things to prevent, you know, passing away from that hit. 
Oh my god, if maybe if the bear hadn't been the one down, he might not survive that thing. It was like a big attack, you know? <laughs> like if it was a Pokemon. Come back. Yeah. Yes, that's what it was saying. So, it's not a uh, normal thing to be the way he is. He has like a, a nat upgrade or he's powerful, just like maybe the teacher is. <clears throat> yeah, it's the only time I have seen that he has kind of like a feeling towards someone. So we need to know why did he try to save Yui when he's being really cold with all the other people. It's her mo his mom or, or someone she li he likes. I knew it that that Megumi was more like a girl's name because of Food Wars, you know, Megumi, the one with the blue hair. That's why I, I remember this guy's name actually. So his motive is also like Itadori. Well, it's, I think it's actually better because this guy is thinking on, and try to save all the good people in the world that he has to know and the other ones to get better de deaths. But. I thought he was cold, like he was doing it for a, a different reason, you know? Yes. Maybe he he remember of her, like the way he's a really good person. He get through him. <laughs> yeah, the only different thing, now you know why he do it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think he support love without a heart. Okay, it's hard, but as I told the other episode, thanks is the main character. This way we know he's gonna survive. Maybe in one or two or three episodes, we don't know, but he's gonna come back for sure. Just like what happened to Meliodas in Anatsuno Taisai. And also to what happened to Eden Jaeger in Attack on Titan. And lots of people in Dragon Ball, you know, this thing can be fixed somehow. But if the other guys were the one that passed it, they will be done for... That will be it. And I don't know, these guys, they are curses. Oh my god, what is that guy with some creepy horns going out of his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a volcano guy. A weird tree is like a good, weird, good guy. A squid with tail. Ah, so he is in a curse. I was in like a Frankenstein curse. Maybe it's the it's a Jujutsu sorcerer. Maybe it's a guy that has too much negativity and he's surrounded by others. Curses? Yeah, that's what I thought. It was really stupid to send some first grade kid that has even started classes to go to a special grade and, and he wasn't there. So maybe that's why they wanted to get rid of Yuji Tadori and they have a success there. But why would the, the ones in charge have problems with this teacher? I know, they really, you know that will be kind of like that special thing. Everybody knew that. Oh my god, I have the power to do that? If that's true, it's really funny to see how the Yuji Tadori takes out all the emotional beings out of these cold guys, you know? <laughs> he looks really fit and nice. Okay, that's, she's even colder. Please come back quickly or you'll be shred apart. Imagine being all kind and then you come back. Oh my god, that will be a morbid thing. Okay, these guys are sad but they don't want to admit it or they're really like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, they, they're both sad, they don't want to admit that. <laughs> Who are those guys? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a panda bear? Like, this reminds me of Ranma 
You know, like the father was a panda when, when cold water hit him or, or hot water. I don't remember what it was. I was a child when I saw that. Okay, so those are second grade students. And is that panda a real one or it's a, a guy in a costume or someone that can transform into an animal? Okay. <laughs> Her face is just like me, like Banda, really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it's like a contest between Jujutsu schools, something like in Harry Potter, you know, the, the one with the, the fire thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, those are the elders, like the ones that want Itadori Yui set the trap. <laughs> and how do you know what he's telling? That would be like something nice to see, you know, like they're fighting with different techniques and things. In a safe way because I don't think that curse doesn't respect the uh, not to to kill bull <laughs> okay so even with the different seasons people create more or less negativity or more or less curses so it's even that is seasonal <laughs> imagine he was really strong and, and he he didn't make it now you need to be even stronger to have a chance to someday make it. Okay, no, he can see the curses. So. Maybe he's a sorcerer, but like a, like a bad one, you know, like one that switch. They think that they are pure being. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so their teacher is the strongest Jujutsu Sorcerer. Okay, that one's already done. <laughs> I told you, I told you, this always happens in animes. Mm. So, so he's in his inner domain. Oh my god, guys, I don't know. Okay, they told me that there are some episodes back here, so I will check this out. <laughs> okay, so so he's actually a real panda. Now I want to know the backstory of him. How did he know how to speak Jujutsu? Is he cursed somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> Did they actually made him too bad? <laughs> the smells like the sun! And how did the soul smells like? Okay, that's too much spoiler. So that's it for the video, guys. Okay. Okay, it was a nice episode. It was not a lot of action, you know. You might you actually get more of like the you know backstory and to know who the trap they made to him, that some people are afraid that he can do the mission or they're afraid that they don't even think that completing his mission is worth enough so he, they might be disposed of him earlier, that thing and also to know the other students the panda guy has really tricked me on, it's really good that it's so normal for everyone except for the girl, you know, he acted just like me also we get to know the is another guy, sorcerer, thing like that, that is making a complot with the other curses to take control of the world or to change the balance in the world, something like that. It also gives us like a clue that Itadori is going to come back soon, and at the end, we 
gets in the same cause actually Sukuna is asking him like why is he in his domain so maybe they can get to an agreement or something like that I don't know but it was a really nice episode so let's see in the next one what happened and that was all for this one guys remember if you like this kind of content this video feel free to subscribe to the channel say something in the comments give some likes and see you in the next episode bye bye